Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing as the Forgotten on Impossible Difficulty. And uh, this episode we're gonna probably continue with the main quest and that means sending a spy in this region of... Uh, what's it called? Shadon? Go away. Why can't I... Let me read that. Sha Shadon, I think. Whatever. We're gonna send one uh, one spy there. Uh, but first, I think up here might be the uh, village of the boss village that I'm searching. Because uh, it's not that one that I have to go to. And I'm gonna offer them 20, 20 glass steel. And hopefully that will... Uh, yum, 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 yum. Oh my god. Is there any... Has to be up there, right? Yeah, there's no... Uh, am I missing something? I can't see it. Well, I'm gonna hope, because there's a... But it looks like the... Like this here is the... Yeah, there's a coastline, so it has to be on one of these four... Tiles, or maybe on this here. Oh, here it is, probably. Yeah, that looks much like it. Can see here? Yep, yeah, that is it. Can you see? Like this here looks like a little mushroom and... Other things that I'm not gonna say out loud, but you probably, uh, at least for my male viewers, it should be pretty obvious what that looks like. And uh, we can see a little bit of that here. So there it is. Hopefully they will take my 20 glass steel and we can have them pacified because that will mean we have plus three immediate workers. And that will be worth 20 glass steel easily, I'd say. So, uh... We are going to do that. We did pacify both of these. Just need to actually rebuild the Saratan villages, but yeah. That's not that important. Tranvin is just just there to protect us against the Necrophages. There's no real other purpose for that settlement, so... Uh, alright, pump the granary in Hamburg. That is nice. Yeah, alright, there we go. And, of course, you're with your last breath, you're gonna spawn another group of centaurs. Cause what, what else? Gosh, darn it, I hate that. Alright, so that's one turn. I hope they run this way so we can deal with them quickly. And, uh... Yeah, minus two assignments. So we can assign the hero every three turns, but I want the XP from the quest here. And uh, I needed to fight these guys, so probably won't reassign him. But uh, I forgot who wrote in the comment, but... Oh. That's quite cheap. Yeah, let's let's take the shipyard. Thank you. Um, let's go over here. And uh, this here looks like it's... It's a glass steel extractor and a spice extractor. Very nice. So we're going to start the pillaging. And that is uh, what is the power of these shadow creeping, spying, forgotten. That you can sneak in your armies, even though these uh, the necrophages probably they would they would stomp on me pretty hard if they knew that. But um, pull the watch. Oh right, nice. Uh, so now we got also pacified the the delvers. And uh, that's two immediate workers. Very nice. Uh, we also got a watchtower, though uh, I built it... Where did I build it, actually? Now you're gonna pillage your own... Yeah, that... Alright, whatever. Uh, two extra workers. Yay! So, uh, let's put one on that. Mm, yeah, that's good. I need a little army here. Just in case, because uh, even through all my precautions and even through all my reckless abusing of the AI, it's not impossible that we get detected. And uh, if we do, it's gonna be one sad, uh, sad event. All right, now we get emeralds, and you gotta be. Ensure your approval is fervent in the city of Saikiki for at least five turns. What? <laughs> okay. 
Um, thanks, man. That... what? <laughs> what happened here? Did we have a quest from them that I didn't know about? Oh, they gave us a quest, but then we finished the other one and... Something like that? I don't know, we got three people here, yay! So we can uh, actually... <laughs> That's too weird for me. We actually have a little uh, city now. That will uh, plow through that early work queue like it's nothing. And uh, what else did I want to do? Yeah, I want to assimilate those guys. Well, that's first uh, 450, 10... Yeah, well, easily. All right. Um, some might argue that Delvers might be better because they give us 10% extra dust. I think 15% more food is stronger overall because uh, we're not growing that fast and we don't have any... Like, we do have spices, but they're... We can't fire them very often. And uh, more population is just gonna amount to overall more resources faster and you can also triangle up faster and all that so I think that is the actual better choice though of course these guys are pretty pretty good tanks um, just pretty strong units in general so but then again they're not stealth so it doesn't really matter and our units are good enough so I think the the extra food is uh, it's the long-term play um, giving us extra food because uh, it will take a while to to actually take effect but I really think um, it's the stronger stronger overall play uh, I'm gonna reassign the hero now though well actually no nah, that yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try and catch these guys sorry if I give anybody the fits because uh, they think it's really horribly inefficient to do that I am very sorry Okay, we seem to be safe for now. But, um, yeah, it's just... I just need those guys gone so I can focus on uh, other things. And uh, even if I... Like, if they march down there and we catch them in two turns, I can't do anything in two turns of spying, so... Please don't get mad at me for that. All right, um, City of Silk now has a slick has uh, seven people in it. I think it's about time we start growing that triangle. Don't you agree? So uh, let's see in which direction we should grow it. My original plan was like so, and then uh, work towards that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Or towards... That. At least get one anomaly. And the hot priory is a pretty good one for us. It's just a pretty good one in general. Imagine that thing plus four signs. That's... Uh, that's amazing. Are we gonna go... Yeah, I think this here is the, the, the good choice. So, just a question of which direction I go first doesn't actually matter so let's go up here all right so that's a pretty strong production overall I'd say one more uh, but Chitor. we're gonna queue in just one more just so we don't waste any production um, for here uh, I think they don't have anything else that makes sense or Actually, the lumber mill makes a lot of sense, but then we're gonna uh, Predator and then maybe like this Like this city only has one viable triangle. That's that one. So uh, that's pretty easy And the rest of you guys well you will need to do some basics first uh, Grow next turn maybe mm, I Well, we're making Decent amount of titanium, so I think we can go ahead and get that. Well, let's get the glass still first, why not? Like so. You've got a lot of stuff to do still. These guys, huh? Let's give them the uh, glory of the empire. What do I want to do with Jakarta? I think Jakarta might be the one that I'll actually grow next. And Tranwin, just like I said. Doesn't really matter what we do there. I mean, of course, we're gonna micromanage it, but 
not gonna lose any sleep over making that city the most efficient. Um, it's just the necrophage buffer. Oh, man. All right, so these guys are uh, apparently very fond of taking trips on boats, so I'm gonna let them. And here come these. Why is that more? that and uh, I'm gonna have to be very careful here all right let's start raiding that takes us two turns to loot out the spice extractor that's pretty good and then we can go for the glass steel and then we can go for the uh, like we can keep them rotating between these two and this and possibly over here as well yeah, I like that. So many, like, they got a village, two glass lid extractors, and one spice extractor on our borders. So that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Uh, would you need one more army to be able to plunder these, um, what should we call these, wild walker improvements? Hmm. Well, they do have some adamantium there, huh? Whatever. Uh, da, da, da. There's anything queued up? Yeah, there is. We can't fire the booster. No, we can't. So, um, safe to take a turn, am I? Looks like it. Now, we're catching on, but the scary thing is that it's... Of all races, it's the necrophages who are actually in the lead. And that is not... That's not the race that we want to have in the lead, to be honest. Um, they... <sighs> yeah, that is not... <laughs> that's not good. Oh. Let's level you up a little bit. Where did I put you, actually? Oh. Are you still sitting in my... Where... Am I stupid? Oh, you're leading that army, right? <laughs> Damn, that was stupid. Uh, yeah, so we could actually infiltrate Taint, and I think I will. Or is this here probably the better target? Look at that, they already got that triangle up. Um, what I was about to say is the, the Necrophagers are not the race that you want to have in the lead, because they are one of the races that can capitalize on that lead just insanely so uh it's not good that they're in the lead not good at all and it doesn't much matter that we like that they're not aware of us yet because they're just gonna gobble up the the wild walkers without any problems apparently the wild walkers and the vaulters have been in, at war of all things uh anyway we're gonna take consecrate mavuzi boyaki boaki boaki i think mavuzi Huh, it's an African name, right? Buaki, I don't know. Um, I hope that won't weaken our... No, we're still gonna pillage that next turn, that's great. But now we're also gonna see what they... Wow, what are you building there already? Dust repository, sure, why not? Have some level, uh, what is that, level area... Four or five tech? Oh, it's area three. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a little whiny. Cause somebody's already in era five, so whatever. All right, I'm stop whining now. Nobody's in era five. I'm just whining. Whatever. The game is not easy so far, so uh, I'm allowed for a little, for a couple of tears. Um. Alright, so these guys are gonna burrow up, they're gonna get unhappy for it, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna build a little more, maybe two units here. Uh, actually, yeah, I actually need like a, a whole military over here. So let's let's just queue up these uh, predators, because I do need them there. Uh, I want one party to raid the, uh, the wild walkers, and one to raid the 
Necrophages. So uh, we do need two armies for that. One and one uh, mostly equals two. Very good. I know my jokes haven't been uh, haven't been too well lately, but I am working on that. <laughs> no, I'm not working on my jokes, but uh, it's been a really... Ah, 60 dust and 8 spices. Well, that serves to improve my mood quite nicely, I gotta say. <laughs> Let us get that as well. Thank you very much. How long? Two turns as well. That's perfect. You can see that in the bottom left. I would show the mouse, but you can see that. Bottom left, pillaging two turns, and we're doing 16 damage to 30 overall life, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we can go for the alchemical armor, though I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, 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 where was I? Here, yeah, that's good. This here's good as well. All right, um, let's work on these guys, and then I'm gonna. All right, I think we can risk the auto fight, right? Just a couple centaurs. We have a. Nah. Well, let's do it manual. <laughs> I'm scared. Like those guys know how to. How to I already know how to abuse the AI, unless it's fixed, but which I highly doubt. So uh, let's just let's go balls to the wall and risk it. Actually, no, let's, let's, hmm, this is very risky, this is very risky indeed, but I think we can take down one of these before they start any trouble, and then two will attack, yeah, I think that is uh, what I can do. So, 58, um, let's put you here, 47, all right, and you can move there, uh, scout, doesn't really matter, you can move here, attack that, attack that, and attack that, and you're just gonna stand there, we're just gonna, uh, you know, idle him, and again, the reason being, my hero is standing in a very unfavorable spot because the AI will get high ground bonuses on him. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That should work out like a charm. Now they're gonna position themselves here. Attack the hero. No. Why? No, my abuse doesn't work anymore. That's so sad. Well, I'm gonna be really lucky with that defense though. Like, Stupidly lucky. Um, and then we're just gonna take care of one of these guys, and that should be the game for those guys anyway. Uh, militia, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go like this, and you can attack that. Should work out, because uh, the hero is gonna act first, so he's gonna move over there, and then he can move in here, and you can move wherever. Actually, move here, because he'll probably get in the way and block. And you don't really... Well, actually, we could go here, soak up... No, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna take unnecessary damage, because those guys have two counters. So they're just gonna counter my scout and my hero. And i much rather they just counter the hero. And... There we go. Perfect. Now I can attack, that's fine. I can take a little damage. And now they're gonna take a lot of damage. How about that? And now we're just gonna finish that off. Nice and easy. Everybody bash that. Alright. Good. And this is game for the centaurs. So, finally I got my lance for myself. Uh, now we still have to deal with those uh, Burdeki over here. And they're actually a tougher nut to crack than three minotaurs, because they are so good against ranged, and you really can't... They're so fast, like, the crippling charge, they really just... Even though these centaurs are technically made to counter me, but... Realistically, uh, the, the, the... 
what you call the the other guys are stronger. <laughs> I, uh, uh, which way to go there? I could go here or here. Let's go. Let's go that way. Should be. Oh, that's that's enough. No, no, no. T t okay. Whatever. As long as we can uh, invade there, it's fine. Let's go there. Have a little invasion. And uh, I'm going to move these guys. Well, actually going to take care of these uh, these um, dredges first. Because they're stuck in trying to pillage my, pillage my village. Mm. That is a rhyme if I ever heard one. And uh, we can actually take them off here, I think. Should be good. We have a good terrain, so we can just do the moonwalk and shoot. Probably the AI can do that as well. But without a hero to block, I'm probably gonna do the fight manually. No! They just finished pillaging. Well, that's kind of sad. Let's actually see what they do. Alright, they're gonna run down here and pillage that. Pretty sure. So, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna chase them. That's just gonna take way too long. I have to be very careful if I spot any necrophage army I need to get out of here because I can't get discovered. Under no circumstances can I get discovered. So we need to be uh, careful with that. But uh, it should, should be possible. Like now we have a nice scout over here. Oop, tuck you back in. Um, have a nice scout over here, and now we're actually working on the main quest again. In four turns, you're gonna turn level two. What is actually required of us? We need her to be level three, right? Burning questions. Yep, level three. So it's probably fastest to just let her go through to level three. Um, yeah, probably that is the best. And I actually don't want to harm the wild walkers too much. Don't wanna... Like, usually I just decrease population, because it's rather cheap and it really hurts. But I don't want to do that too much, because I actually want them to be viable against the Necrophages as long as possible. Like, they still have 700 points, though they could already be... Can we actually see them? Yeah, we can. So, yeah, their military is already starting to take hits. Which is not not very good. And the Necrophages have a crazy amount of land. 47% of the land, actually. So we need them to be kept in check. Kept in bay or at bay. At bay, I think you say, right? Whatever. Uh, yeah, so that is my, my strategy there. I want to just have a hero there and maybe steal some tech from the Wild Walkers. But I'm not going to actually damage them. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Very nice. Oh, by the way, we could fire the die booster, and we shall because we are very sad as a as a people. Uh, not wanna. Actually, do I wanna? I don't even know. I'm gonna wait for the uh, next turn. We can fire these spices, so we're gonna do that. And now we plundered both of these. So uh, let's actually go back home. Uh, let's, let's risk this way. There we go. Um, what else? 60 dust. That's nice. A little bit of glass steel. Um, not gonna refire the emeralds. Don't need them. We have six turns to save up the influence for the Empire plan. And I want to stick with this plan. So we're gonna not do too much craziness with the spies. Though six turns is like 300 extra influence. So, yeah. Doesn't matter much. Um, Trenwin, where's that? Where's Trenwin? Oh, right, my uh, little unnecessary province. So they're growing actually kind of nicely. I like that. Do like that. Mm, maybe I need another troop. Yeah, I need another one to start plundering over here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna uh, be very, very annoying for the necrophages. I want to have like two constant pillaging troops and I uh, want to have ideally three spies working on their cities just so we can keep them in check uh, a little bit and uh, give the wild walkers like they just need to go here and, and fight them just bash, bash hats and then you know do what you do and uh, <laughs> leave me the frick alone 
Anyway, that shall do it for the episode. Uh, I could go ahead and fight these Bordeki. No, I couldn't, but I should. Maybe here is good? Here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, with those guys gone and uh, actually the dredges somewhere here, where are they? Ah, in the sh shadow of war, fog of war here. We have cleansed our land officially off of the minor factions. And we have simulated them all, and we got everything we need. Now, all we need is a little bit of time to play that growing game and uh, work on improving our spies. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna buy one of these. But not this episode, next one. Actually... Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sp I'm gonna spy one of these buys. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna buy this guy here, but uh, likely the next episode, and send him in whatever necrophage city we have here. And the ideal situation would be one spy here, one spy here, and one spy over there. Wherever or is that two provinces? I don't know. We're gonna find out. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.